Hello beautiful people, uh, today I uh, prepared a list of decks, uh, meta decks, and this time uh, we're gonna start with um, Nilfgaard. Uh, obviously as you know uh, this um, uh, this uh, faction got buffed uh, and some of the uh, cards uh, which were not played that often, uh, right now they are got into the meta decks, but also uh, once you're gonna see also the decks, uh, which is uh, quite surprisingly, uh, um, uh, some of the cards uh, which got nerfed, they are still in the in the meta decks. So okay, let's start with the with the first one, uh, to some hospitality. This is the first uh, first leader ability. Obviously here it's gonna be with the curse scroll, because uh, you're really like dependent on uh, what you're getting in the in the first round. Uh, then you have a uh, renew. Uh, then uh, on Neuromancy for thinning and consistency. Uh, then you have uh, Coop the Grace also for a, a certain reason in, in this deck because we have here uh, Joachim uh, Devet and also uh, Roderick uh, of the of Dune. So basically, um, uh, during one round, uh, you can play, uh, let me say, uh, Coop the Grace into uh, Joachim and then in the second round, you can play uh, into uh, Roderick. So by, by doing this, uh, you will draw uh, additionally four more uh, cards. Uh, then you have Fion. As a protection obviously to a hefty Helga, uh, Royal Decree in order to uh, get better draws, um, Arturius obviously here uh, we would like to play it into one of the uh, combat engineers and uh, uh, then we have a uh, Meno and Meno obviously uh, will be played into one of the uh, tactics card uh, then uh, uh, Necromancy and obviously Necromancy into once again uh, one of the uh, combat uh, engineers uh, then we have False Siri uh, and obviously into Bohurt, so make sure first you play Bohurt, then you play uh, Siri. Arcane Tom, uh, just in order to get one of our um, uh, one of our um, uh, special special cards. Uh, then we have Petri's uh, filter, obviously uh, to trigger automatically a road tosser. Uh, once it's gonna be dropped on, on board, then um, it will have zeal. Uh, then uh, two of the combat engineers, then teleport uh, teleportation played obviously into uh, combat engineers, Bohurts and uh, Mag Mag Mangoel. Uh, so as you can see, this is once again this poisoning deck, super toxic, uh, although some of these cards they got uh, nerfed, like uh, combat engineers. Uh, for instance, it's still being played uh, due to the fact that once again teleportation is at uh, four points of provision. Uh, this uh, this deck once again got into uh, into the meta decks. Uh, the second uh, deck is a tactical decision. Uh, so we start with color uh, for uh, protection. Uh, then we have uh, Renfrey. Uh, Sunset Warrior, and obviously this is uh, a Rins deck since uh, Rins got buffed this season, and uh, this is a uh, Hyper Team. Uh, then we have Run Mage. Uh, then we have uh, Vilgefortz as a control option. Uh, then obviously uh, Dordic uh, to get one of the uh, cards that we need uh, at the particular uh, round. Uh, then Tinic with Nickers. Uh, Snowdrop since we play Tactical Decision. This is uh, a super synergy. Uh, then ob obviously Albrich and uh, Rins Albrich and uh, uh, Rico. This is. Uh, uh, this is a super combo and uh, they these cards they really uh, work well uh, then obviously uh, additional tinning with uh, roderick uh, referee gangs for tinning uh, blight makers with tinning of uh, mage assassins and this card it's a uh, it uh, gives us crazy value uh, for only four points of provision uh, it gives you tinning plus obviously a uh, 444 so this is uh this is amazing so uh, uh, in the game right now obviously um uh, Nilfgaard has the best uh, tinning options. Uh, then Imperial uh, Diviner uh, to get uh, Purify, uh, two Couriers, two uh, Vicovaros, a uh, Hunting Pack for additional tinning and one more additional lock uh, with a uh, Hunter. Uh, the third deck it's also pretty much the same as you can see the uh, the changes are not that uh, not that huge. Uh, what do we have here different? It's Leo uh, um, uh, Bonhart. So we have two I would say uh, uh, tall punish options. Then the thinning uh, here goes with unicorn and uh, hero next. Thanks to this, we have one more option of destroying a unit at six points of power. Here we have the same lock is uh, with Dragari, and I completely don't agree with this uh, uh, with this choice because uh, regarding regarding uh, Nilfgaard, uh, definitely they have uh, cheaper options of getting a lock. For instance, you can get uh, a lock for uh, four points of provision or Alba for five. So this is uh, this is definitely like uh, being reserved for a uh, different faction. Then we have the same cards. As you can see, there is no difference. Uh, and then we have a, a, a Viper Witcher. 
which is the only, uh, so it's very, very similar. Uh, then imposter, <coughs> uh, so as you can see, still this, uh, this uh, imposter deck is uh, in the meta regarding the decks of uh, uh, of Nilfgaard and uh, there is nothing new as you can see th the same goes Masquerade, Emher, Admiral, Rompari, uh, Artfein, uh, Coupe de Grace, Joachim, it's still the same, Philip, uh, Fergus, uh, Roderick, thir Two Thirsty Dames, uh, One Imperial Diviner, so this is maybe something uh, that was not present in this deck but this is like regarding the locks just to prevent locks, uh, then we have two Alba, uh, then two uh, Aristocrats, uh, two Fangs, uh, two locks, two locks, or poisons, uh, two emissaries, and uh, mage infiltrator. So it's pretty much the same. Nothing has changed. No major ch changes for this deck. Uh, it's it's pretty much uh, the same. Uh, then we have two song hospitality, and uh, uh, this is a deck uh, which is like very similar to mine. Uh, I think uh, I, re I recorded this deck this month, and basically there are like uh, it's almost the same. I would say there are some changes, and I don't I don't recall, but I would say maybe there is only one change, like Pellar, that would be in my like the first um, I think that I'm looking at, and. Uh, and, and also the Leo. In my, in my deck there was no Leo and uh, there was no Pellar. I'm pretty sure about this one. The other cards are uh, exactly the same. There's no uh, no difference. Uh, what is like uh, the reason for Pellar? And uh, I'm, I know uh, where this guy comes from, uh, why he uh, has this card. <clears throat> Obviously sometimes uh, Sangreal can be played not uh, uh, to the opponent's unit but to our unit and that's why you need a Pellar to purify so you will not get uh, 12 points of, uh, of damage. And then we have Enslave, uh, and Enslave it's uh, pretty much uh, the same, as you can see there are not uh, major ch changes, so uh, still Magic Lamp, uh, Torres, uh, Artedo, Stefan, Henry, as you can see this, this card is always present right now if you play uh, cards with uh, assimil uh, Assimilate uh, ability, then obviously Jan Calvate, Run Mage, uh, Vilkefort, Arturius, and Lydia. So this is uh, after after the the buff right now. Uh, this card is present among the uh, cards with uh, uh, assimilation. Then we have um, Experiment, uh, Imperial Diviner, Mage Torture. Only one copy of it, as you can see. So uh, he's taking the risk of not like drawing anything over here. Uh, then just do just informant, and he doesn't play Brightons here. So uh, at five points of provision, uh, is it that good? No, I, I would definitely make a, a change. And then we have all the all the cheap uh, four provision uh, tactics cards. So there is no no uh, no change. This is a kind of uh, weird for me because he has emissary over here and also uh, Duchess Informant without playing Brightons. So I don't know what, what is the reason for uh, for it. Um, Lydia, maybe I, I would I would make a make a change over here, but uh, you know this is like a, I'm I'm not like like a challenging this uh, this idea. Uh, this these are only like my first thoughts. And obviously uh, we have the Shoops uh, deck, and uh, uh, this is like totally present right now uh, among the decks with the uh, Nilfgaard. So as you can see, three decks which are in the meta, and three decks with with obviously uh, Shoop. So here we have all the assimi uh, assimilate cards. So as you can see. Uh, Torres, Artedo, then we have Shub, then Henry, obviously, uh, that has a synergy with the ass uh, assimilation. Eredaya, Jan Calvate, Run Mage, Arturius, Lydia. Once again, as you can see, Lydia, he's, uh, she's present here. Experimental Remedy, Assassination, so a control option, Coated Weapon. This is, uh, this is a big surprise for me. An uh, additional uh, additional uh, five removal. Uh, then we have Imperial Diviner, Mage Torturer, Duchess Informant, Vile of Forbidden Knowledge. Then we have all the cheap tactics. Uh, is there anything surprising? Uh, no, art, uh, so he starts with uh, Art Fane Cavalry plus the Crystal Skull, so uh, this guy he likes to do it the same as, as I do. And uh, the only difference is uh, Toxicology, this is the only difference. Uh, and this is like a kind of, uh, I would say, surprising uh, card. Then we have Imperial Formation, Great Leader of Italy with 16 points of provision. Uh, what is like surprising uh, over here is that we have uh, Ale, so this is a big surprise for me. And then we have Bacala. So this is obviously this uh, huge carryover, uh, and they really like to uh, play a short, uh, short third round. Then so we have Bacala, uh, Shub, uh, Coranti Heatwave, uh, Mashi Truffle, Radaya, Jan Carvet, Raymond, Run Mage, Blind Maker, Assassination, uh, a control option. Then we have, as you can see here, there is one luck, uh, but he doesn't play uh, Van Morlachem, so there's only. Only this lock. I don't know if, if if it makes sense because maybe it would be better to just use the cheaper lock. Uh, then uh, Dvima Vedra, obviously to replay Mashi Truffle. Uh, then Artfine Light Cavalry, 
Imperial Marine. Then all the cheap tactics, as you can see, this is a starter with Crystal Skull, uh, Graveyard Control, Illusion is also second one from uh, from the Machine Truffle, um, uh, teaming with Bra Blindmaker, and obviously uh, what he tries to do, he tries to play the Machine Truffle uh, twice. So the third round would be uh, uh, the Machine Truffle, obviously, and, and without cli uh, being clicked uh, of the order. Uh, obviously the Bacala uh, Ale, that would be the carryover plus plus the leader plus usually a uh, Shub uh, with the. Uh, 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 as, as a carryover for the next round. So you can imagine in the, uh, a very short third round, he has a huge advantage. Uh, then we have uh, once again Imperial Formation. And uh, as you can see between uh, this deck, this, this deck and this deck, there's almost no uh, no difference. I would uh, agree definitely uh, more with this one. And I also created a deck like this, uh, because here you have additional one carryover, War Council, then you have Bacala and Machine Truffles and Shoop. So you have already four uh, carryovers. Then current Heat Wave, just to have an option to destroy uh, opponent's um, scenario. And this is kind of important, guys. Uh, lock with the uh, Red Eye, because usually that's we're gonna uh, use it. Uh, then we have uh, Young Calvay, Tyron Kell, Run Mage, uh, also the same lock, uh, mm -hmm. Control, a purifier, Artvein, uh, this is, uh, even after the buff, I wouldn't say this is a, a strong card, especially if you don't play that many uh, soldiers. Uh, he doesn't have, as you can see, Nozika Sergeant here, but he has a Slave Driver, uh, so he can replay uh, Artvein to Light Cavalry, Imperial Marine, then once again all the tactics, once again uh, Artvein Heavy Cavalry played into Crystal Skull, uh, Grave Control, Greater control and also uh, illusions. So as you can see, uh, we have over here I think eight decks. One, even nine, even nine decks. Uh, these are the uh, the best decks out of uh, out of uh, Nivgard this season. Uh, let me know what you think about them. Uh, which are your favorite ones? Which one uh, did you try? And let me know what are your uh, what are your experiences uh, playing with this uh, with these decks. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your time and support. Please like, subscribe, and comment, guys. See you in the next video. And the last announcement, guys. Please go to the nearest shelter and adopt a dog. Thank you very much, guys. Bye bye.